Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to replace the fresh fruit defrost heater in your GE refrigerator. If you need a new defrost heater for your GE refrigerator, check out our website, PartsDoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. The defrost heater is used during the automatic defrost cycle. If the part fails, it can cause the automatic defrost system to stop working and the refrigerator not to cool properly. If the evaporator coil is frozen over, you'll need to wait for the frost or ice to fully melt before completing the repair. After completing the repair, you will need to allow the refrigerator to fully defrost before reassembly as the automatic defrost system will not be able to catch up on its own. Since we will be working on the refrigerator's electrical components, disconnect power to the refrigerator. Because the defrost heater is encased in glass, use extreme caution when removing because it may be broken. Start by opening the doors. Then, pull the doors forward, lift up, and pull out to remove. Remove the crisper frame by lifting up and sliding forward. Be careful as the glass panel will come out with the assembly. Remove the deli drawer by pulling forward, tilting up, and sliding out. Using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the two screws holding the front deli cover in place. Then, lift the cover up, being careful as it is still connected by wires. Disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Next, remove the rear cover by lifting it up and out. With the sides fully closed, remove the two screws holding them in place using a Phillips head screwdriver. Then, remove the slides. Remove the screws holding the side supports in place using a quarter inch nut driver. Then, slide them forward to remove. Using a flathead screwdriver, gently pry the fan connector cover away from the evaporator cover. Then, using a quarter inch nut driver, remove these five screws. Then, disconnect the electrical connector by depressing the locking tab. Remove the cover. There are two electrical connectors on the defrost heater. One here, and one here. To remove them, pull firmly with needle nose pliers. This will require some force. The defrost heater is held in place by two clips and two retaining tabs. Using a needle nose pliers, gently pull on the clips to bend them so that they are clear of the coil. Next, carefully bend the retaining tabs to release the defrost heater. Then using a needle nose pliers, firmly lift up on the drain heater probe. This will require a great deal of force. With the probe clear, remove the heater. If you need to purchase a new fresh food defrost heater, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you are getting the correct part. To install, align the defrost heater to the retaining slots on the evaporator coil assembly with the electrical ports facing down and press into place. Then, bend the retaining tabs back into place. To reinstall the middle clip, insert behind the coil and hook it into place. Then align the opposite side of the clip to the pre-existing gap in the prongs and press into place. Repeat the same process with the other clip. Insert the drain heater probe into the drain, align it to the coil, and press firmly until it seats into place. 
Then reconnect the electrical connectors by aligning and pressing firmly in place. Insert the cover at an angle, being sure it seats behind the lip on the bottom of the housing. Then, rotate the top into place beneath the air tower. Reconnect the electrical connector and reinstall the screws. Align the fan connector cover to the refrigerator housing and press until it snaps back into place. To install, align the side supports to the refrigerator housing and slide into place. Be sure to feed the wire through the opening on the left side. Then reinstall the screws. Next, align the notches on the slides to the tabs on the side supports and press into place. Then, reinstall the screws. Next, set the rear cover in place. Then, reconnect the electrical connector to the front cover, align it to the frame, and set back into place. Reinstall the two screws. Then, with the slides extended, set the deli drawer in place, being sure the notches on the drawer align to the tabs on the slide. Next, align the crisper frame to the tabs on the refrigerator housing and set into place. Finally, reinstall the drawers by aligning and pushing back into place. That's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.